Moonlit Descent In the heart of winter, when the bitter cold clung to every corner of the world, a dim room came alive under the pale glow of a bright moon. Shadows danced across the walls, twisting and contorting like ethereal specters in the night. The wind outside howled relentlessly, its mournful cries seeping through the cracks in the old house. In that eerie room, adorned with antique furniture and faded wallpaper, a young girl named Astrid sat at her desk. Her deep hazel eyes were fixed upon a weathered book, its pages filled with secrets from a forgotten time. The flickering candle on her desk fought against the gusts of wind, casting unsettling shadows that seemed to take on a life of their own. Astrid's raven black hair cascaded down her shoulders, framing a delicate face touched by a quiet intensity. She was a girl who sought solace in the depths of the night, when the world was hushed and the veil between realms grew thin. On this particular evening, her curiosity had led her down a forbidden path, delving into the occult and summoning forces she could scarcely comprehend. As the moonlight spilled through the window, illuminating the room with an otherworldly glow, Astrid traced her fingers along the ancient text, whispering long-forgotten incantations that echoed softly in the stillness. The air grew heavy, pregnant with a sense of foreboding, as if the very room held its breath in anticipation. With each incantation, the shadows on the walls seemed to writhe and twist in discomfort. Astrid's heart quickened, a mix of fear and fascination consuming her. She had always been drawn to the macabre, enticed by the mysteries that lurked beyond the boundaries of the known world. But as the wind howled louder, shaking the window panes, a deep unease settled in Astrid's bones. She sensed an unseen presence, a malevolence that permeated the very air she breathed. A chill crept up her spine, causing her to shiver involuntarily. Just as Astrid was about to extinguish the candle and retreat from the unsettling ritual, a disembodied voice whispered her name, barely audible amidst the chaos of the wind. Startled, she froze in her seat, her hazel eyes widening with a mixture of fear and curiosity. She couldn't pinpoint the source of the voice, but it seemed to surround her, encasing her in an invisible cocoon. Astrid! The voice called again, this time more distinct, like a sinister melody weaving through the silence. It carried a weight, an ancient resonance that sent shivers down her spine. She turned her head, scanning the room for any sign of its origin, but saw nothing out of the ordinary. Unease turned to apprehension as the voice grew louder, a low rumble that reverberated through the walls. It was no longer a mere whisper, but a beckoning chant, urging her to acknowledge its presence. Astrid's hands trembled as she clutched the edge of her desk, her mind racing with questions and doubts. The room grew heavy, as if the air itself had thickened with malevolence. A rotten stench filled her nostrils, suffocating her senses. She gasped, covering her mouth to stifle the involuntary urge to retch. Beads of sweat formed on her brow, her heart pounding in her chest like a drum. Just as she was about to succumb to panic, the old grandfather clock in the corner of the room struck 3 a.m. with a resounding chime. The sound echoed through the room, momentarily drowning out the haunting voice. In that brief moment of reprieve, Astrid's instincts kicked in, guiding her toward a realization. The disembodied voice sought to feed on her fear, to trap her within its insidious grasp. Astrid understood that succumbing to terror would only empower the malevolence that sought to claim her. With newfound resolve, she took a deep breath, willing herself to remain calm despite the foul breath that seemed to linger on her neck. Gathering her courage, Astrid slowly rose from her seat and faced the darkness head on. Who are you? What do you want from me? She demanded, her voice laced with a mixture of defiance and trepidation. The room fell into an eerie silence, the wind outside subsiding as if in anticipation of the answer. And then, from the depths of the shadows, a pair of crimson eyes materialized, glowing like hot embers in the night. A deep, raspy chuckle escaped the darkness, sending chills down Astrid's spine. You have summoned me, Astrid, the voice resonated, its tone dripping with malice. I am but a fragment of a forgotten realm, yearning to return. Your curiosity has breathed life into my existence, and now you shall serve as my vessel. 
Astrid's heart pounded in her chest as she stared defiantly into the abyss. She knew she had trespassed into dangerous territory, but she refused to let her curiosity be her downfall. With her voice steady, she spoke words of defiance. I will not be your vessel. I command you to leave this place and release your hold over me. The crimson eyes flickered with anger, their glow intensifying. The voice let out a furious roar that rattled the very foundations of the room, but Astrid stood her ground. In that moment, a surge of energy coursed through Astrid's veins. It was as if an invisible shield enveloped her, protecting her from the malevolence that threatened to consume her. She felt a strength welling up from deep within, a power she had not known she possessed. The crimson eyes narrowed, and the voice hissed with frustration. You cannot defy me, Astrid. I am already inside you, lurking in the recesses of your mind. You cannot escape. But Astrid refused to surrender to despair. She had faced darkness before, both within herself and in the world around her. She knew that strength came not from avoiding fear, but from embracing it and emerging stronger on the other side. With her will fortified, Astrid mustered every ounce of courage and resilience. She closed her eyes, focusing on the core of her being. She embraced the darkness within, acknowledging its presence but refusing to let it define her. As she embraced her inner strength, the room shook violently, as if the very fabric of reality trembled in response. The voice grew distant and faint, its power diminishing with each passing moment. And then, in one final act of defiance, Astrid let out a resounding scream, piercing through the veil that had bound her. When she opened her eyes, the room was bathed in soft morning light. The oppressive atmosphere had lifted, replaced by a sense of serenity. Astrid's trembling hands found solace in the warmth of daylight, and she exhaled a breath she hadn't realized she had been holding. Confusion settled in as she glanced around the room, half expecting remnants of the night's events to linger. But everything appeared as it had always been. No shadows, no ethereal specters. It was as if the ordeal had been nothing more than a vivid dream. As Astrid rose from her bed, she noticed the old grandfather clock standing in the corner, its hands frozen at 3 a.m. Her heart skipped a beat, a mix of disbelief and a nagging suspicion crawling at the edges of her mind. Shaking off the remnants of doubt, she chose to believe that it was all a product of her imagination, a vivid manifestation of her fascination with the macabre. With a wistful smile, Astrid brushed it off as a tale she would share with friends, embellished for dramatic effect. But deep down, she knew that something had changed within her. The encounter with the malevolence had left an indelible mark on her soul. As Astrid climbed back into bed, she gazed out the window at the bright morning sky. There's no way this could have been real, she thought. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the story of Moonlit Descent. We hope you were enthralled by the eerie atmosphere, the bravery of Astrid, and the mysteries that unfolded under the pale moonlight. If you enjoyed this story and would like to experience more captivating tales, we invite you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our latest stories, adventures, and immersive experiences. Remember, your support and engagement fuel our passion for storytelling and inspire us to continue weaving enchanting narratives. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay connected with us. Thank you again for being part of our community, and we look forward to embarking on many more extraordinary journeys together. Until then... May the moonlight guide you on your own ventures into the realms of imagination.